Hey, Scott here for Rebellious Noise, and today we are with Fightstar. Hey there, mate. How's it doing? Howdy. Cool. Uh, do you want to just do, do a little run through who you want to band, what you're doing, all that kind of stuff? Yes, my name is Charlie, and I sing in the band Fightstar. Dan, bass player, and some synthesizers on this one. Al, skin flute. Very nice. <laughs> cool, cool. You were asking me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's been a big year for you guys. Uh, obviously, you guys come back recently, had the 10 year anniversary show. How'd that all come about? Where did the decision come from to, to bring it back after the hiatus? Well, it's been 10 years since we formed the band. Oh, it was in December last year. And so we came, had the idea of doing a sort of one off reunion show, um, which was all it was meant to be at the time. Yeah. Um, we put the forum on sale. And the tickets just went really fast and it sold out in about 10 minutes. So we thought there was a real sort of hunger out there for yeah. us to be doing more stuff. So we put some more dates on because some of the people were annoyed that we weren't playing up north. So we went up north and played some shows. And everything just kept sort of uh, snowballing. Yeah, it was nice. It was like, wow, you guys remember us. <laughs> yeah, this yeah, is, yeah. This is rad. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you guys were away for, what, a couple, a couple of years? Five years. Yeah, so... Five. Um, five, five. Five. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, it must have been a great feeling, so, especially, like you're saying, the, the first show sold out, like, pretty much in minutes, yeah. which is, which is uh, you know, it's no easy feat for, for any band and any venue, you know, so, um, yeah, I mean, was that, like you say, just a, a desire, like, there's a calling for us again? Is yeah, that I think so, I mean, I, I often got asked in interviews, and when I was saw, saw fans at stuff, mm. um, you know, when are you guys going to play again? And so, I, in the back of my mind, I always knew that people were sort of asking. Yeah. Um, which made me think there was definitely a desire f yeah. to have us play again. But I had no idea the reaction would be that strong. And I had no idea we'd sell out the forum in 10 minutes. I mean, that was just, that was crazy when that happened that morning. I was just like, what? You say, what? And, uh, and that was just like, it was a great feeling. It was an amazing feeling. And that, and that sort of spurred us on to think, you know, maybe we should write some more music. I didn't want to write music and put it out just for the sake of it. Um, so I wanted to make sure that we so had to feel right. I wanted to, it had yeah. to feel right. If we'd written stuff that I thought was average, then we wouldn't have put it out. But I think the stuff we've written is really good. So I think the I think the fans are really going to enjoy. it. I actually genuinely think that this record is our best record. Wow. So well, I mean, what's the plans with this next record? Then uh, are you guys doing several tours or? We're going to be heading out on the, si on the 17th of October. Yeah. Um, there's still some tickets available, so come down. Is that the Troxy date? The Troxy date, yeah. Then and that's the first date. It's right by my house. Is it? Yeah. yeah, yeah come yeah, down, yeah. man. And then we're going to be going around the country for about three weeks. And we're going to be playing a whole bunch of the new songs. So it's going to be exciting. It's the first time we've played new songs in five years. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Cool. Are you guys doing any international shows as well, or is it just sticking with the UK for now? Just for UK for now. I think we'll take it sort of one step at a time. We w we just want to get the record out and and uh, get people used to the new songs, and it's going to be fun, man. Is there any particular reason for the Troxy? Have you guys did you guys go there for the Krang Awards or anything like that? Because I've noticed. Oh, was it the Krang Awards there. this year? Uh, the last two or three, I think it's been. Yeah, no, that wasn't the reason. But we um, I wanted to play a venue that we hadn't played before. Right. And. We're sort of running out of venues in London. Yeah, there's not many. This one seems like, I mean, it's been there for a long, long time, um, but it's, uh, it's slowly creeping up. As, yeah, uh, it's got a good vibe. I, yeah. I saw, I know Gaslight Anthem played there yeah. a couple of years ago, and I, saw, and I saw a couple of videos from that, and it just looked like it had a great atmosphere. And also, we always play sort of north, um, northwest. We never really played a gig east, so I'm quite looking forward to doing an East London show. Um, from what I gather, it's it's not a million miles away from the, the forum layout, and, yeah. I, and I love that venue. So we just wanted to do something a bit different, you know. What about you guys? You say you're doing synthesizers on this album. How'd that all come about? That's right, man. So um, you know, historically, we've we've on previous albums, we usually have like a bit of a thing that augments what we're doing with yeah. guitars, bass, and drums. Obviously, on Be Human, we um, trucked with a 24-piece orchestra. Um, trucked as in getting in the truck with <laughs> but this one like it naturally evolved like obviously Al and I have been doing some side project work with Gunship and you know I fell in love with synthesizers in a big way and they were around in the studio and when we were tinkering and like with the demos for this stuff it's like they were there looking at us and and it, it kind of lit up your eyes with all the, yeah. the flashing lights. It, it was my it was my sort of first time I'd had an experience and mm. Dan sort of delved balls deep into it and for like two years that's right I got addicted. So I was like, uh, yeah, just a boy with a toy, really. So it became like 
slowly it became like the thing that we were doing this record yeah, with. Yeah. And um I think there are synths on nine out of the ten tracks. Wow, okay. And um so it's all, isn't it? I don't know if the, yeah. was the song creeped into Snakes in the End? Yeah. It did. Okay, so yeah, there's synths on every track. Nice. And you know, it's all analogue synths, um for the actually it's for the most part yeah. analogue synths and all patches that, you know, we've crafted between us and Chaz has been programming stuff and filter sweeping things and like that was a new world for yeah it's good fun man. it was awesome to see like his musical brain get new tools and like have a crack with it like I have like a uh, 16 um, unit uh, sequencer from Dofa and you basically you set up 16 notes to go in a row but like yeah. Chaz had never seen one before so he just like was looping one pot and just playing a melody on one pot like, um, like it's really good fun man. Thought to do that but he had you know it was that magic of just having new tools and just going mental that actually yielded some of the cooler results i guess it probably adds to your guys excitement for being back as as a band you know you're, you're not I, I think it's easy for bands to get back together do the same old and then after a little while be like it wasn't that different you know i, yeah. can, I see you know what's the point you know but I, like you've got the the hunger from the fan base and now you're experimenting new things and obviously quite enjoying yeah it. Uh, another big thing was we, we we're using seven string guitars in this record so it's it's much heavier oh, by so. by its very nature and i think if we got back together and made a record that sounded like the last one, it would have been totally pointless. Yeah. We ha you have to keep moving. You have to keep going in a, in a new direction. And um, it's almost like this record was the record that I always wanted us to make, but we never r really did. The, yeah. We, we, it was just the, the total removal of boundaries mm. from uh, writing. Yeah. There was no fucks given. Yeah, about, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Christ. Zero is, fucks were given. This has <laughs> got to be like a radio friendly one because yeah. we're going to take a crack at that at some point. That didn't happen. It was just like, this is fucking awesome. Let's write it this way. Yeah, I guess people have, um, you know, come to know who you guys are as a band now, you know? So, I mean, you've, you've got your loyal fan base and they're the guys you, you're, you know, who are going exactly. to come to. Exactly. The, and they're the ones we're, that we're making this record for. Mm. Do you know what I mean? That's the whole point, I think. We're not sort of going out with this record trying to conquer the world yeah we were, we're trying to reinvigorate our fan base yeah, yeah. and really do this for them and do this with them so that was the, uh, there was a different ethos in the in the uh, in the sort of in the making of the entire record mm. i think i think the connection uh, you guys have and the growth in the band and where you guys are at uh, is really evident when you guys did the headline in the tent in uh, a download this year we were there amazing set i have to say it was, it Thanks, was absolutely man. amazing and i could tell you guys were pretty thrilled to be on that stage and it's solidifying what you guys are and yeah. uh and it seemed like a great moment for you guys to, it to was, be man. There. that was a, that was a really nice a nice moment to be able to you know headline a tent at one of the biggest festivals in the country and yeah i mean a testament to like what we to kind of what we've achieved in our small little world like yeah we, um, i remember playing download the first time we've ever played download and we were all terrified like we were like first on the main stage or something yeah. and, and uh, we didn't know what was going to happen and uh, we kind of pulled through that and, um, and, and, and yeah, it's just really nice to kind of have, be able to play download again in, in, a, in a kind of a legitimate way mm. and people to sing, sing back, sing our songs back. Yeah, yeah. Us, you know. Cool. That's cool. cool, man. All right, cool. Uh, we'll finish up with, uh, if you guys had to replace yourself, in the band just for one night you had to do set his troxy gig or three of you come down for something dodgy today uh who's taking your place your place only oh i wanted a cat stevens to replace now yes. <laughs> <laughs> that would be rad <laughs> can we just get him anyway he's got cool. a great voice though man what about you uh i don't know i i don't know the, giant, um, the wrestler giant haystack oh no i would want who's the good in, uh, um in uh man on fire Denzel? No. <laughs> Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rourke. Yeah, Denzel. <laughs> Denzel. Denzel. <laughs> oh, I might be with Mickey Rourke. Ron Jeremy, sure. So we'd have Cat Steve. <laughs> <laughs> no, we had Ron Jeremy, and then Dan. Yeah. Yeah, no one's picked that up yet. And then Dan, who do you want to be? Person. You guys pick. Dan could be. be... William Shatner. Yeah, William Shatner. So we've got a band with Cat Stevens, yep. William Shatner, Mickey Rourke, and. Denzel Washington. That sounds phenomenal. Shred. I mean, if you guys can't make the trucks here, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm still, I'm still going. I don't care. I'm still. I'm going to deliberately get food poisoning now so that I can <laughs> yeah. help. Imagine Shanna <laughs> with the spoken word over Denzel. That would be rad. <laughs> we didn't pick one musician. Oh, Stevens. 
but he'd carry it, man. He'd carry Shannon's it. Shannon's kind of a musician. He kind of had an album. Did he? Spoken yeah, word. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, if you talk about spoken word, surely we've got to get. Um, no, we've got to get. Uh, we got to get. What's his face in from Crim- Crimson Tide? Not Crimson Tide, you know. Siege. Se- uh, uh, Steve Seagal. Seagal. He's a great guitar player. Yeah, okay. Seagal would do well. And Depp also can play the guitar, so maybe yeah. Johnny in. This is, uh... It's turning into it's one massive supergroup. But yeah, I'm loving it. Thank you guys very awesome, much. Man. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.